Hey guys, welcome back to my second video of the true FPS tutorial series. Uh, in the previous video, I have shown you guys how to uh, attach the camera to the character. So, uh, in this video, we will set up the blend space uh, for the character animation blueprint. Uh, as you can see uh, right now, Okay, so uh, as you can see right now, the character hands uh, are too low because uh, they are actually using the uh, the uh, the hip fire animation. You can see here. Yeah, they are all hip fire. So we're gonna we're gonna replace this with uh, a uh, iron sight uh, iron sight animation. Okay, so first off, uh, we'll, we will create a blend space, uh, choose the right skeleton, and I will call this uh, job and inside, yes. <laughs> okay, so for, for the horizontal axis, I will call it uh, direction. And uh, for the vertical, it will be speed. Uh, so the maximum value for the speed uh, will be uh, about 600. And the number of grip, uh, I think is good for now. Uh, the direction will be negative. Uh, and positive. 180 okay so now we're gonna drag all the iron side iron side animation here so we have walk forward all right and this is walk backward left walk to right and uh, for the idle animation uh, I will choose the idle rifle animation here so just fill that in and for the top of the this way we will use the screen forward uh, right for animation and we are good to go okay so uh, in the uh, anime graph uh, actually I will delete uh, all of all of this because uh, right now if uh, if I uh, if I move the player here you can actually see uh, uh, the player is like uh, walking while uh, while he while he's in in the air, so it doesn't look very good. So actually, we will need to uh, separate this uh, jump animation into three parts: the jump start, uh, jump loop, and jump end. Uh, so uh, I will delete this. And this will we'll keep the, the crouch uh, state here. And we will delete the idle right for him. And we will replay it with the plan spray we just created. Yeah. So for the direction and the speed. Good. Alright. So, uh, I will name this Idle Walk and Run. Okay. So, uh, now we're gonna now we're gonna test this out. All right. Looking good. 
uh, but now the animation is kind of snappy yeah it's kind it's kind of snappy so uh, we will smooth this out a little bit so for the vertical axis I will crank up the interpolation time to about 0.3 So if all right, so it's smoothed out a bit, and for the direction, I will not, I will not, <laughs> I will not crank this up because it will create some weird effect. So yeah, test this for yourself. Uh, Crank it up a bit and see what will happen. But uh, I would not do do that here. But instead, I will change the target weight interpolation to five. Right. So. Still a, a little bit snappy, so I was just gonna check if uh, the rotation. Yeah, so disable all of this. Disable the uh, use controller design rotation and the orient oriented uh, rotation to movement, and uh, it will be much smoother. Yeah. No no more snappy animations okay so now we're gonna set up the uh, jump and anim animation for for the animation blueprint um, so in the true APS asset uh, we have three uh, jump animation here, so we're just gonna drag it into our blueprint. So to use uh, the jump uh, animation here, you uh, when imported them into uh, our project, you need to choose the skeleton in the anim Stator pack. So yeah, import all. And we're good to go. Save. So I'm gonna drag it here. Jump start. Jump loop. Jump. Jump end. I connected it. Like this. Right, so um, so for the jump loop, uh, we we need to loop the animation, and uh, I will change the play rate to be point one because uh, the animation is very fast. So we have. So we have to slow it down a little bit and also we need to untick the loop animation here for the jump start and jump end. Alright. And now for for the event grab. I will uh, delete this because we won't need it. Uh, I will uh, rearrange the note a little bit. Uh, so it's uh, is is really not good to cast uh, to use a cast note here because is this is a tick event so 
gonna it, it gonna hurt the performance so we really don't want that so I will call the begin play here and then try get pawn owner and cast to the character promote it to a new variable to uh, code player and now uh, I will drag the player reference here uh, and call the it valid nope so only the when the player is valid we will, we will execute the rest of the code jump button down uh, we don't we don't need this We'll uh, okay, so um, uh, I will delete this, and instead I will call the um, is in a. Uh, no, no, it is falling. Okay, and I will connect this this to the enable jump alright so in here we got a warning about input action event references unknown so in the project setting uh, and input we, we, will, we will create a new action mapping to be uh, I will name this crouch uh, with C key Alright. Oh, and also um, we can uh, change the near clip plane here uh, to prevent the camera from clipping into the mesh. So I will change this to one. Alright. Good. So I will compile and, we'll, and the warning will be gone. Uh, so for the jump action, I will delete. Uh, I will actually delete all this. Don't need this. So press jump and stop jumping. So back to the animation graph. Uh, we will set up the transition rule for the jump. So. Uh, Enable jump. So when we press the input, uh, so when we press uh, spray bar, uh, uh, the jump from the jump from jaw start animation will play, and after that we will choose to we will take this uh, aut automatic rule based on the transition. So. Uh, when this animation is uh, finished, it will automatically, uh, it will automatically uh, jump, uh, transition into this uh, loop here. So we will need to uh, uh, set up. We we will we won't need to set up anything here. So uh, I will change. Oh. No, it is actually good here. So I will change the duration to be uh, 0.3 to smooth it out, to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, oh, this is actually wrong. So in here, uh, we will change the duration to 0.3 and call the jump variable and plug it in okay <clears throat> so in here uh, we will also take the automatic uh, rule 
and uh, change the duration to 0.3. Uh, and uh, I think we're good to go. Okay, so next in the character blueprint, uh, I will change the mark, the max walk speed to uh, 600. Uh, the mark walk speed crouch to be uh, 100. <laughs> and the jump velocity to be um, 600. Oh, my bad. So, actually, I will turn um, the mock wall speed to be 150. Alright, so you can see the character is kind of uh, messed up. Uh, it's, it is because we haven't uh, created a, uh, a physics asset for it. So, we're just gonna right click in the money queen body and create a physic asset and assign create asset and save it and now it should working fine so now if I jump alright um, the last thing I will do in this video is uh, actually I will set up I will set up the spring logic for our character so left so if I press left shift I will call it the character movement and change the mark the max and change the max walk speed to uh, speed to 600 and when we uh, release the button uh, it will change the speed uh, back to uh, 150 this is 300 All right so if I test this if I press shift character should sprint alright so right now the character around uh, is, is right in the middle of the screen uh, which is not good but we can fix uh, this uh, issue later when we set up the hand AK okay so this is the end of this uh, video uh, I will see you in the next one